Hello everyone, Scoops here, another episode of Final Fantasy VII. It's been about a week since I last played this, so I can't quite remember what's going on. <laughs> ah, joy, joy. I know I'm in the crater. I know Sephiroth is near, and so is the president of Shinra and so on, so, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. That was just bad planning. Uh, I forgot about this. <laughs> God, I hope this doesn't go bad again. Hope this doesn't glitch out. Hope this doesn't glitch out. Oops. Oh, nice. Limit break. I'm recording late at night. When I say late at night, like 10. <laughs> or not even. I think it's about 9. Which is way later than normally I'd speak. Or normally I do this, so this could get interesting. Ah, oh, crap. I wonder if I leave here, if I come back, if it'll be reset. Oh yeah, I'm good. First time's a charm. First-ish time. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, what is this? What happened? Calm down, Tifa. Sephiroth is near. Anything could happen. Uh-oh. This ain't gonna go well. Nibelheim? But how? A dream? An illusion? This is an illusion Sephiroth made up. Obviously, he's trying to confuse us. It'll be alright. As long as we know it's an illusion, there'll be nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, you're right. Look! <gasps> it's me. <laughs> I wish they'd shut their mouths. Alright, let's go. That was Cloud. Cloud's not here. I wonder who this is. Stop, Sephiroth. This is so stupid. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. Such joy. Hey, Red 13, what's up? Is this illusion going to continue forever? How do we get out of it? Cloud, it, it, it's just an illusion. Don't worry about it. What's next? Stop it already! This is terrible. Did Sephiroth do this? This is what actually happened five years ago. But it's probably not me that will come out of the Shinra mansion. He's going to try and show us another stupid illusion. Yeah, black-haired dude. See, didn't I tell you? Oh no. Hey, it's you. You're still sane, right? Then come over here and help me. I don't want to watch this. Cloud, don't watch. I wonder where they, where they are. Where can they see this? I'll check this house. You check that one over there. Dude's got a cape. Who the hell is he? What's wrong, Tifa? I told you before, right? As long as we know that it's just an illusion, there's no need to be scared. You all right? We were in an illusion. Sephiroth, I know you're listening. I know what you want to say. That I wasn't in Nibel Nibelheim five years ago. That's it, isn't it? I see you finally understand. What are you trying to say is that you want to confuse me, right? But even making me see those things won't affect me. I remember it all. The heat of the fire, the pain in my body, and in my heart. Oh, is that so? You are just a puppet. You have no heart and cannot feel any pain. How can there be any meaning in the memory of such a being? What, have I sh what I have shown you is reality. What you remember, that is the illusion. Psh. Red 13, what's up? Cloud. Tifa, what's up? Cloud. Cloud. Do you understand? I don't want to understand. But I want to ask you one thing. Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I want to take you back to your real self, the one who gave me the black materia that day. Who would have ever thought a failed experiment would prove so useful? Hojo would die if he knew. Hojo, what does that have to do with me? Five years, years ago, you were... 
constructed by Hojo, piece by piece, right after Nibelheim was burnt. A puppet made up of vibrant Genova cells, her knowledge and the power of the Mako. An incomplete Sephiroth clone, not even given a number. That is your reality. Whoa, did the dude on the ground just blink? Oh, he is! Or is he kind of like weird twitching? Can I say hi? No. Red 13. Cloud. Tifa. Cloud, don't listen to him. Cover your ears. Close your eyes. What's wrong, Tifa? I'm not affected by it. I wasn't paying attention to him. <laughs> you cocky asshole. All that talk of Hojo constructing you is a lie. Don't we have our memories together? Being kids together? Starlit nights? Ha 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 ha, Tifa. Why are you so worried and scared by those words? Hmm, shall I show everyone here what's in your heart? Ha ha ha, you don't look well. Whoa, dude just disappeared. Tifa, is Sephiroth right? Cloud? Why are you so scared? Don't worry about me, I'm alright. No matter how confused I am, I'll never believe a word that Sephiroth says. It's true that sometimes I can't figure out who I am. There's a lot of thing muddy, things muddied up on my, muddled up in my memories. But Tifa, you said long time no see, Cloud, right? Those words will always support me. I'm the, I am the one you grew up with. I am Cloud of Nibelheim. No matter how much I lose faith in myself, that is the truth. That's why you shouldn't be so scared. No matter what anyone says to me, it's your opinion that counts. No, that's not true, Cloud. What? What's not? I'm the same Cloud you grew up with, aren't I? That's not what I mean. I, I don't know how to say it. Cloud, I need some time. Just give me a little time. <gasps> Cloud, don't blame Tifa. The ability to change one's looks, voice, and words is the power of Genova. Inside of you, Genova has merged with Tifa's memories, creating you out of Tifa's memory. A boy named Cloud might have just been a part of them. Cloud... Please, don't don't think right now. Ha ha ha, think, Cloud. Cloud? Oh, excuse me, you never had a name. Shut up, Sephiroth. You still don't understand, then. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Do you remember the picture that we took before we head to Might Nibel? Tifa, you remember, right? But there is no way he would know. Now, what happened to that picture? Ah, here it is. Uh, is this it? Do you want to see it? It turned out pretty good. Cloud, don't. I should be in this picture. Even if I'm not in there, no worry. This is just an illusory world Sephiroth made up. Yeah. Do the black hair. Something ain't right here. Something ain't right at all. Just as I thought. This picture's a fake. The truth is in my memory. Five years ago, I came back to Nibelheim to inspect the reactor. I was 16. The town hadn't changed at all. What did I do? Oh, yeah. I saw my mom. I saw the people in town. <laughs> yeah, I went to Tifa's room. There I... I looked in the drawers. I spent the night and went to the reactor at Mike Nibel. I was excited about it. Because that that was my first mission after becoming first class and soldier. Soldier? First class? Soldier? When did I enter soldier? Ah, how did I join soldier? Why 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 can't why can't I remember? I I'm uh, That's right. I didn't have to worry about it because I was Cloud? Let's go, Tifa. I, I'm I'm all right. <sighs> Dangerous stuff. Heavy stuff. All right. Wow, that's amazing. Um. Oh, there's Hojo. What a ho-jerk. It's all materia. The outside is rich with Mako energy. The inside is a treasure trove of materia. This truly is the promised land. There is no such thing as the promised land. It's a legend, an old wives' tale. It's utterly ridiculous.
Everything's as I imagine it to be. Isn't it splendid? Is that... Uh, it is that kind of dullness that makes you a second-rate scientist. <gasps> What's happening? It's coming from within the wall. Something in there is... It's moving. <gasps> Whoa. Uh-oh. Weapon. Then it really does exist. I didn't believe in it. What does this mean? Weapon. A monster created by the planet. They appear in the planets in danger and destroy everything. That's what it stated in the Professor Gast report. Ha! Ah, we saw that! I never saw that report. Where is it? Here. Right here. You keep a lot of things to yourself. Barrett! Are Cloud and the others alright? But what's up with that? One little piece of material destroying the planet? <gasps> Uh-oh. Barrett. Barrett. What the... The hell was that? Huh? Hey, guys. Where are we? Where did we end up? Tifa! Barrett, you're here. I'm so glad. Tifa? Something's weird here. All of us. It got pitch black all of a sudden, and everyone disappeared. Everyone's waiting. Cloud's in trouble. Please come, help us. Over there! Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but let's just get on with it. Uh, I don't think that's Tifa. <sighs> and remember. Yep, there it is. The Black Materia. Oh, uh, this guy. This guy is quite the guy. He's definitely a guy that does guy things. Ah. Uh. <laughs> This is a very heavy episode. Mr. President, I've got a bad feeling about this place. Hmm, maybe we should go back to our ship now? We need to prepare for the inspection anyway. Uh, what? <laughs> hey, where did you come from? Don't know. <laughs> this place is gonna get rough. Better leave things to me and get out of here while you, while you still can. Leave things to you? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. This is where the reunion is happening, where everything begins and ends. Cloud! Hey, we're here to help you. Uh... Cloud? Cloud? You're not gonna do anything weird, are you? Um, Cloud? Don't succumb to it. He's gonna ask for the black materia, don't give it, Bar Barrett. Barrett, don't you dare. Thanks, Barrett. Where's the black interior? Don't do it! It's safe. I have it. Barrett, I'll take it from here. Give me the black materia. You alright? Okay then, here. I had a lot of pressure holding this thing. No, don't! Please stop! Cloud! Thanks. Leave the rest to me. Come on, the black materia. Please wait, just a little longer. I feel like this music isn't quite matching the scene. <laughs> Everyone, thanks for everything, and I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> He's gone Canadian. Especially you, Tifa. I'm really sorry. You've been so good to me. I, I don't know what to say. I never lived up to being Cloud. This is so weird. Just this whole kind of section, the, the music, the dialogue, just everything happening here. I feel like it's not quite Tifa. Maybe one day you'll meet the real Cloud. What is, like, what is, <laughs> this is perfect. It means that my experiment is a complete success. Hojo, you bastard. What number were you, huh? Where is your tattoo? Professor Hojo, I don't have a number. You didn't give me one because you said I was a failed experiment. What the? You mean only a failure made it here? What is going on? So... <sighs> professor, please give me a number. Please, Professor. Shut up, miserable failure. Oh, this is so weird. Who, who, who was that? He's a Sephiroth clone I created after the real Sephiroth died five years ago. Genova cells and Mako, with my knowledge and skills, have been combined with science and nature to bring him to life. 
I'm not wild about the failure part, but the Genova reunion theory has now been proven. You see, even if Genova's body is dismembered, it will eventually become one again. That is what is meant by Genova's reunion. I have been waiting for the reunion to start. Five years have passed, now the clones have begun to return. I thought the clones would begin to gather at Midgar, where Genova is stored, but my predictions were not entirely correct. Genova itself began to move away from the Shinra building. Oh, So all the clones... Okay, before we move on, all the clones have parts of Genova in them, and Genova, even if it gets torn up, torn up into billions of cells, trillions of cells, they'll eventually form back together. So because the clones are made of Genova cells, they start to, the reunion, start to kind of get together again to make Genova whole. And Sephiroth died five years ago, but the one running around here is cloned again from Genova, and he's trying to bring everything back. Huh. I don't think I ever got that from when I was a kid. I never connect those pieces. I mean, it did just say that. Anyway. But being the genius that I am, I soon figured it out. You see, it was all Sephiroth's doing. Sephiroth is not just content to diffuse his will into the life stream. He wants to manipulate the clones himself. Yes, that's how it got started. I wonder where these clones were going, but I was never able to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out either. This is so, so, so strange. The one thing that I did not, did know was that Sephiroth was the, at their final destination. I wasn't pursuing Sephiroth. I was being summoned by Sephiroth. All the anger and hatred I bore him made it impossible for me to ever forget him. That and what he gave me. Sephiroth, Sephiroth, I'm here, and I brought you the Black Materia. Show yourself to me. Where are you? This is so weird. Can I move? No. Yeah, no. Sephiroth. So we finally meet again. What? Oh, what? <gasps> Sephiroth? The real Sephiroth? The one that died? Do you see it? It's Sephiroth, so he is here. This is perfect. Both Genova Genova's reunion and Sephiroth's will. They won't be disfused into the life stream, but gathered here. Mwahaha! <laughs> what are you so happy about, Professor? You know what this means, don't you? Cloud has the black materia. Sephiroth is going to summon Meteor. Every single person is going to die. Whatever I say now is too little, too late. We must evacuate. I want you all to come with me. There's still much more I want to know. Cloud? Yo, Cloud, stop! Don't do it! He's got the black materia. He's floating. He's crazy! Cloud! Uh oh. There it goes. Sephiroth's will. Uh oh. And here come the weapons. Is that just the life stream kind of collapsing within itself? <laughs> Aw, yeah. You see these badasses? You'll get to know them very well. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, these things are more mechanical than I remember them being. Woo! Oh, oh! Oh my 
was falling down. Oh, Barrett's got her. Yes, all the weapons dispersed to the far reaches of the planet to try and defend against Meteor and Sephiroth. That's some heavy stuff right there. Ooh, this is a fun episode. All that kind of backstory, history, the great b reveal of everything. Now it's a race against time. <gasps> the cries of the planet. Cloud. You've done some really bad and weird stuff. <laughs> Cloud. Cloud. Uh oh, where is he going? Gone. Into the distance. Huh. Yeah, I feel like so many of these things I just didn't really understand when I was a kid. I didn't know what to do. I was always like that. You know, all the connection between Cloud and Sephiroth and the other guy. <laughs> What's the matter? Ugh. Poor kid. Ugh. Man, I don't think he's a poor kid. He's got a gigantic sword. Are you alright? Ugh. Ah! Uh, Tifa? Tifa? Hey. Tifa. Huh? Oh, Cloud. That's right, I'm Cloud. Oh, this is so weird. So Sephiroth was saying that the Genova cells can manipulate memories, right? Even Tifa's. So Cloud's memories, when he met Tifa, kind of combined in a sense. He got her memories of the man with the black hair, but the Genova cells kind of tweaked those memories in her mind into being Cloud, guy with, you know, blonde hair. And then Cloud just had memories formed from him, from that. Oh, it's so cool. I never understood that. Is it really you, Cloud? I never thought I'd find you here. Yeah, it's been a while. What happened to you? You don't look well. Yeah, it's nothing. I'm okay. Ah! Yep. <laughs> How long has it been? Ah! Ah! This memory sharing right here. Oh, it's so weird. Five years. And then she gets it too. What is it? It's really been a long time. Actually, it's been seven years. You joined Soldier, but quit after the Sephiroth incident, and now you're a mercenary. You told me a lot about what happened after you left Nibelheim, but something was wrong. I felt there was something strange about the things you talked about. All the things you didn't know that you should, and other things you shouldn't know that you did. I wanted to make sure, but then I heard you, you were going far away. And I didn't want that. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I needed more time. And that's why I told you about the avalanche job. I wanted to be with you and watch you. Whoa. Bringing us back to day one, eh? Eh? Yeah. Again, the cries of the planet. Hmm. Yeah, this is all very interesting stuff. So if Cloud is just a clone made from Sephiroth and Genova's cells. That's why Sephiroth can control him. Whoa. Uh, ding? Huh? The glare. Barret? It's really bright. You'll be better soon. You've been asleep for a long time. I'm hungry. 
Hey, why don't you ask? Man, this is just this whole situation has been so weird <laughs> about him. <gasps> Every part of this is kind of off and doesn't quite make sense. It's been very surreal because I'm scared. Don't worry, I, I don't know what happened to Cloud either. Guess I shouldn't tell you not to worry. None of them know if he's alright either. He's still alive, right? Probably. Maybe. How long was I asleep? Let's see now. It must have been about seven days. Wow, that's a big deal. What about Sephiroth? You ain't, you ain't over it yet? Remember that huge light in the northern cave? Since then, the crater has been surrounded by a huge barrier of light. Everyone knows Sephiroth sleeps in that big hole, protected by the barrier. We can't do a damn thing about it. We just gotta wait till he wakes up. And on top of that, some huge monster called Weapon's been on a rampage. Weapon? Remember that huge monster that was with Sephiroth at the bottom of the crater? Well, it's up here now. They say it's some legendary monster from the past. Weapon is protecting Sephiroth? Don't know, but he's up here and going around tearing stuff up. Right now, Roof is fighting it. I hate to say it, but he's got guts. We should have been the ones to destroy it, but we ain't got no time. Time. Hey, how about Meteor? Uh-oh. Oh my god. That's not good. That's not good at all. You might want to aim that cannon upwards there, mate. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Do we have to give up? Don't know. Rufus, there you are. I thought Cloud would show up to save you all. Professor Hojo wanted to check up on Cloud, too. What are you going to do to Cloud? Sephiroth's alter ego. Meteor has been summoned. Essentially, it's all but over now. So there's no need for you now. No, maybe there's an important task for you. Heidegger, you jerk butt. President, preparations for the public execution are complete. <gasps> what? Execution? What are you going to get by executing us? You are to be executed for causing this situation. People are ignorant. They'll feel better as long as someone is punished. I take back what little praise I had for this damn jackass. <laughs> well, enjoy your last moments together. I'll tie your arms now. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, it totally happened. Huh. Well, my party members have dressed up as Shinra soldiers before. What about you? What do you gotta say, huh? Fine. Alright, there's the save point. I think that's definitely a good place to end. Whew, that's been a heavy episode. Definitely a very heavy episode. But anyway, I'll give you guys some time to, you know, let that soak in. That will be it for me today, so thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.